Welcome to another Recharge class. I am Coach Clint, and today we are going to be doing some really good regeneration and recharge movements. Okay, so we're going to feel good. So we're going to start our class with our tip of the day. It is a continuation of Tuesday's tip. So if you were not here on Tuesday, where were you for one? And for two, I can send you the rest of the tips if you need them. Okay, so and here's the hard part. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, continuation of our 10 tips for better family time. Play games. Board games are amazing. I'm not talking the new fangled Xbox 1000 or whatever it is, or PlayStation 350. We are talking board games, Monopoly, Shoots and Ladders, Candyland, all the good ones. Moncala, a new one my wife's got me into. It's fun. This is your noodle. Good things that you can sit down quietly and play with your family. Power outages are a good time to do that. Just saying. Okay. Uh, plan a family outing. Go camping. Go for a walk. Anything that's outside, unplugged. There's a theme here, I think. I feel like there's a theme. Encourage athletic activities. You know, that can be going uh, in Oregon. When we were there, we always wanted to try Frisbee golf. We never got around to it, but it's something that we might try. We did buy a Frisbee. It's fun. Get outside, run around. Use this athletic talent that you're learning about now outside with your family or friends. This goes for fan, or friend time also, not just families. Create a time for family, right? A calendar event where you actually take a quick break and hang out with just your family or friends. Again, friends are not excluded from this list. And then this last one, getting that real quiet time that uh, it kind of goes with the reading, I feel, you know, pray together, attend a worship or meditate, whatever you like to do to get a bigger connection with the outside world other than internal stuff. Uh, that's a great time to do it. Meditation. Uh, you guys have access to the Headspace app. That's a great time to sit down with kids, turn on Headspace and learn how to control all this stuff that goes on around us and take that time to internalize and feel better about things. Oh, he went deep. I tried not to, but it's there. Okay. And then our joke of the day, Pat, thank you as always for these great jokes. Others need to step up and send me some jokes too, because I know you guys have them. Why doesn't the fisherman go to the gym? And if you look, the fish is back there making fun of him. Lucas, thank you for coloring for me. I don't know if you're watching, but mom might. And if she is, hopefully you heard me. Okay, we're going to get started with our workout today. I am wearing my jacket because, again, it is cold outside. And I want to warm up before we get too far into this warm up and hurt myself or something like that. That's not what it's all about. So we're going to go down to the ground. And we are going to do some glute bridge reaches. So glute bridge. We're gonna come here into that glute bridge position. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hamstrings. I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna tuck my left arm underneath my butt and I'm gonna reach over the top with my right arm. I'm just gonna come back to center. We're gonna to go to that same side again, up and over the top. Make sure you're breathing, come back down. We got three of these on each side, up and over the top. Yes, we're staying in glute bridge. Yes, we're working those glutes, waking them up, using those hips. Go ahead and tuck the other hand underneath and reach up and over the top. Snap, crackle, and pop are not just Rice Krispies. When we do this, if you guys cannot hear it through my headphones, I am so surprised. I'm getting old apparently, and my bones do not want to stay where they're supposed to. And back. Beautiful. All right, we're going into our bent knee hamstring. As you guys know, one of my favorites, grab behind that hamstring, pull to your chest. We're going to press the sole of our shoe straight up. Remember, we don't point our toe. We want to drive the bottom of our shoe to the ceiling and breathe. Relax it down. We're going to do five of these on each side. Press it up. Now, again, you cannot see it on camera, but if I get a little leg shake going, like your leg has a mind of its own, you're stretching into the correct distance. You're getting the right tension on that thing. And if it's not, 
no big deal. You can do this one standing also. You can just straighten your legs and do a forward fold. Still just stretching those hamstrings. We got two more, press it up. Some of us are limited on space. We're not blessed with a giant dance studio that our mother-in-law lets us use. I don't know who that might be. Thanks, Lori, again. I'm gonna do that probably every video, every class, because she's amazing. All right, switch, going to the other leg, pressing up. Now, my left hamstring, for some reason, is super tight today, relaxed. I think it might be what the coach on Tuesday made me do with those leg curls. Love leg curls. I know a lot of you out there love leg curls. My hamstrings do not. So this is a good stretch for today, getting it loosened up. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. Two more, press it up. And relax, last one. Kick it up. And relax, nice. All right, next one. We are going into a plank reach. So I'm actually gonna face you guys. Plank position, okay? Widen out our base just a little bit. So I want your feet about shoulder width or wider. It's just gonna keep us from uh, swaying back and forth. Okay, so plank position, lock in. Right here, notice my feet are a little wider. Yeah, you can see that. A little wider than my shoulders. Butt is down, locked in, okay? And I'm gonna just reach to the front of the room. As I reach, notice my hips are not tipping side to side. I'm staying as straight as I can. Nice, slow reaches here, okay? If you can't reach that far without your hip tipping over, we can just do shoulder taps. Beautiful, shoulder taps are same idea. We're taking one of those bases away, right? So we're taking a base of contact with the ground away. We're forcing a little anti-rotation in our body. Good for us, five on each side. I got one more. Don't hold your breath. I'm gonna talk a lot about breath today. And down, all right. Now, going into our Little nugget stretches for today. We are going quad hip flexor again, but we're gonna go straight quad hip flexor today with an over the top reach, okay? So I'm gonna squeeze my down glute, press to the front of the room. Once I find that stretch right here, I'm gonna take the same arm as the down leg, press up to the ceiling, reach over the top. Okay, now I'm creating this length from the palm of my hand all the way down my body and down my leg and back. Now, if you're standing, you can do it just like we did earlier this week. Bend that front leg, drive that hip forward just like you were, push that palm to the ceiling, up and over the top. Now you're creating that length again, same as being here. Look at that, we're just taking it up. And back, good, one more. Make sure you have that hip forward reach up and over the top. And back, this is gonna be important today. We have some fun stuff. Uh, we lovingly call some of these movements surrender squats today. Some of you are clapping, yay, up, over the top. If you don't know what they are, you will by the end and you'll thank me for it. And we'll talk about why. Relax, good, again, press up and over the top. Relax, one more, press over the top. And relax, see, now I'm warm. It's a good time to take off that jacket, get ready, because here we go, it's gonna get warm. It's about to get like Arizona in this room, even though it's 28 degrees outside. Up, reach to the sky. We're gonna do our drop squats. On go, we're gonna drop into that base position, okay? Slight bend in the knees, slight bend in the hips. Here we go, all the way up. Go, drop, good. Like somebody yanked the rug out from under you. Drop, meet the floor. Don't let the floor meet you. Up, 
Drop. Good. One more up. Drop. Good. This time, first go, we drop. Second go, we're going to do one set of two inch runs. Okay. Two inch run, fast feet, just like so. Here we go. All the way up. Go. Go. Fast feet. Fast feet. Fast feet. Fast feet. And relax. Doing good. All right. So, like I said, surrender squats is our first thing. We're going surrender squats, hand walk, push up swimmers. That's a nice little flow movement. And then we're going to go bear to plank and then our shin box for the week. Okay. Shin box rotation with an up. It's going to be fun. Okay. Surrender squats, starting position down on our knees. Okay. Hands up on top of our head, like so. Okay. I'm gonna step up with my right leg. Just do it with me. You don't need to see it because you can just follow along. I'm in this lunge position. Left leg, come up, stay low in that squat. Here, stand up, down into that squat. Take your left leg back, right leg back. Easy. Left leg up, right leg up, stay low. Come up, come down, step back with the right, back with the left, good. Now from the side, so you can make sure I'm good form. Right leg up, left leg up, stand. Down into that squat, left leg back, right leg back, good. One more, we have left side or right side first, right? Right side first, right leg up, no, left leg. Sorry, left leg up. Sometimes it's hard to remember. Right leg up, stand, down, right leg back, left leg back. Boom, there we go, easy peasy. Up on your feet, okay? Hand walk, push up, just like it sounds. We're gonna go into a hand walk, slow on the way down. Hand walk out, plank position, okay? Nice locked in here. Down, slow push up all the way to the ground. Boom. It's more of a push down, right? Arms. Now I'm going to reach out above my head, sweep my hands behind my back, keeping my face from touching the floor because that's gross. Okay, now I'm going to sweep those hands back forward. From here, slide those hands back under my shoulders, tuck my toes, and press back up. Good. Come up with those hips, down dog position. You can walk your hands back or walk your toes forward. You have one more hand walk, push up, swimmer. Stand up slow, don't fall over. Here we go, down, nice and slow. Make sure you're breathing. Hand walk out, plank position. Down into that slow push up. How slow can you go down? Are you waiting on me or am I waiting on you? Good. Hands go out over your head. Sweep. Keep your face off the floor because, again, that's gross. We don't know where this floor has been. Sweep your hands forward. Slide those hands underneath. Tuck those toes. Nice push up here. Now remember, if you're doing push-ups from your knees, just take a little longer if you can, okay? That's how we grow these push-ups, get better at them every time, is by challenging ourselves with time under tension, especially when we're doing body weight. <sighs> Stand up nice and slow. All right, this next one, we're going bear crawl to plank position, kind of like our walkouts we do for our hamstrings, but this is for our core. Lock in, nice tight core, tuck your toes, Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, bridge up. So my knees are just hovering off the ground. Okay, they're not touching. Now I'm gonna walk my feet out slowly into a plank. Now I'm gonna walk my feet slowly back into a bear crawl. Keep my back nice and flat. Good, out. These are amazing. You wouldn't know how much stability you're building doing these, good, in. Nice and slow, three steps or so, two steps is fine. Just don't jump in and out, out. It's the steps that make you kind of wobble, which we're trying to anti-rotate. 
Good. Bring it in. We got one more. Out. And if you need to take a break, that's great. Take a quick break. Get the form down. Come back into it. Walk back in. And down. Good. Shin box position. Now, like we have done before, we're going to stay tight on our shin box today. This is a shin box if you're new. I take my left leg. I tuck my left foot into my right thigh. My right leg is behind me. Okay. Now today, I'm driving towards you. So we're going to use our strength to sit up. Boom, right there. I'm pushing forward just like in that quad hip flexor. Should feel a stretch down here, possibly a stretch in your inner thigh here. And then we're going to let ourselves back nice and slow. Okay. I want you to use your hands if you have to, to push yourself up. But on the way down, I want you to use your hands as a counterbalance and let yourself down as slowly as possible. Boom. Good. Up. Let yourself down nice and slow. Three on each side. Good. Rotate. Okay. Now, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Glue my feet to the floor. Rotate those hips. Over. And in. Good. Okay. You can also just flop over. That's fine. Okay. We're just worried more about this position today. I'm just challenging myself. Let yourself down nice and slow. Good. Pop up. Down nice and slow. Shin boxes. So much fun. Up. Dennis, I hope you're enjoying these. Every time I put them on here, I know who they're for. And if the rest of us don't like it, it's your fault. But thanks for, thanks for making me do them. It makes me better, okay? So some of these movements you might not like, but they are helping, okay? All right, surrender squats. Round two, last round of the strength, and then we're going into our little bit of cardio for today. Hands. Top of your head. Now, let's go left leg up, right leg up. Stay low, stand up. Good, down. Right leg back, left leg back. Good. Up, right, left, up, down, left, right. Good. Left, up, right, up and stand, okay, down, right back, left back, good, one more, right up, I think, <laughs> no, I did that last time, left up, ah, uh, one of you is going to comment on this, and it's going to make me laugh, right up, stand, down, it's a lot to remember, right back, Left back. Beautiful. Nice work. Okay. Now, I promised you that I was going to tell you something. I was running down the stairs today, heading to class after a meeting. It's icy outside. I slipped. Now, we've had this conversation before when I stepped on a Lego. The reason we do this stuff is to make you more agile. We don't break stuff. We bend stuff at that point. We get stronger. Okay. It's important because otherwise I probably would have tumbled down the stairs and hurt myself badly. And you guys would have had to have, I don't know, Lucas, my son teach you or something. All right, let's go forward. Or Luke, if Luke is on the call, Luke could have taught for me. I would have just given him the power. Good plank position. Nice slow push up on the way down. Bring those shoulders up just a little bit. Slide those hands straight up over your head. Sweep those hands behind like your Michael Phelps flying through the pool. Hold in that back position. Bring those hands back forward. Slide them underneath. Nice push up here. Tuck those toes. Drive all the way up. Downward dog position. And walk those hands back. Now, if you have tight hamstrings like me, this is an amazing hamstring stretch. I am trying to bring myself back as far as I can. 
without bending my knees. Now it's not very far for me, right? But the more I do this and practice going as far as I can into that stretch without cheating and bending my knees, the better I'll get down nice and slow. Good, press out overhead. Sweep those hands behind, strengthening that nice posterior chain, glutes back, opening up our chest because we're lifting it off the floor. Sweep those hands forward. Bring them back under our chest. And a nice push up here to finish this rep off. Good, now stay in that plank position. Don't come back up yet. We'll finish with a walk up, okay? Plank position. Now crawl into that bear crawl position. Flat back, focus on your back. Nice and strong, tight core. Step out. Beautiful. Hips shouldn't change positions. Nice and flat, good. Walk in. Hopefully you guys could put a hot coffee on my back or something like that and I wouldn't spill it. Lasagna, I never spill lasagna. Walk it out. Walk it in. We got one more. One more. Nice and strong here. I know you're probably getting tired. It's okay. So am I. Walk it out. Good. One more. Walk in. Hold for just a second. And then let's step out and push up into that down dog. Now this time, let's walk our toes forward to our hands, come up nice and slow. See, that's harder for me if you didn't notice. I had to bend my knees a lot when I walked my toes forward. So that's why I'm getting better. Coming up, beautiful. Let's go down into our shin box position. Remember, three on each side, doing that get up, coming back down nice and slow, okay? So here we go, driving up over my hips, hips forward. Like I have flashlights on my hips. Showing off my logo, everything's pointed forward. Down nice and slow, nice and slow, as slow as you can. Good, sit up. Down nice and slow, controlling with all these little muscles everywhere in our body. Good, up. Last one on this side. You guys are doing good. Sweating like a pig today, I love it. Down nice and slow. That's how I wake up at two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. Rotate. Hopefully she's not on the call. I just got up an hour ago. No, I'm just teasing. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and push up. <sighs> she knows I was at least awake for the last hour because I was in a meeting with her. Good. Let yourself down nice and slow. Good, up. Down nice and slow. Good, press up one more time. And down nice and slow. All right, grab a quick drink if you have water with you. If not, take this quick breather, this quick minute break is just so I can uh, get you ready for our next thing. So we're gonna go speed squats or skaters, okay? Uh, lateral bounds, whatever you wanna call them, fancy name. Okay, all we're gonna do is you have a choice. You're either here and we're gonna go to the side, swing our leg, go to the side, swing our leg, almost like you're a speed skater. Or if you don't have the space, you're just speed squatting, okay? We're going 30 seconds, so it doesn't matter. I might only get five skaters each side, and I might get 400 speed squats because I mean, I'm amazing. But whichever one you choose, that's great. I have the timer, okay? And then our next thing is an egg hold. Now, if you have not done this one before, this one's awesome. You're in that dead bug position. You bring your elbows to your knees and you tighten your core. And we're just holding for another 30 seconds, okay? Now, if you don't have the space to do skaters, do the speed squats. If you don't want to get down on the floor, use a wall, okay? You can go here or your desk, plank position, drive your hips forward, okay? Right here, boom. 
Keep your core tight. If your arms are a little lower, it's gonna make you tighten even more. What I want is up on your toes, drive your hips forward, make yourself long and strong, tight core, okay? Work your core standing, imagine that, okay? Here we go. Hopefully you got a nice little refresh. I'm gonna do skaters today, skaters today, because I know if I don't, some of you are gonna call me out on it. I don't like getting called out. All right, here we go. Ready? We're gonna start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. We're just gonna decide, decide, move, or speed squat your choice. Kick that leg behind you if you're doing those lateral bounds. I'm trying to look as much like Apollo Anton Ono as I can. Nice strong thighs, strong glutes. Don't get your foot stuck behind you. 10 more seconds, you're doing good. Pretend if you are doing these skaters that you're going up and over some sort of a line. I have this nice gray and black line here and relax. All right, egg hold in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Try to keep that distance close. Pretend that somebody's gonna come and try to break you apart. Okay, you don't wanna break apart. Nice and tight. Don't hold your breath. Doing good, keep it up. 10 more seconds. How is it the simple things are the hardest things to do? I don't know. And rest. All right, up on your feet. We got one more round to finish things out. And then our coach's challenge. Here we go. Nice and strong here. Five seconds, four, Three, two, one, and go. See if I can go a little quicker this time. Because again, I know some of you are probably gonna call me out on how slow I did the last round. There we go. Now we're talking, now we're cooking. Get what you can. If you can make this round the best round you've ever done, that's great. Get those speed squats in if that's what you're doing. Don't cheat form, nice and strong. Five more seconds, two, one, and relax. <sighs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, lock in and hold. A little harder when you go faster. Now I'm tired and I wanna cheat and I wanna let myself come apart. Nope, keep it tight. I'm here with you, let's go. Finish it out. 10 more seconds. And relax. All right, coach's challenge. Here we go. What's our coach's challenge today? Well, for today, because we didn't do a whole bunch of push-ups, we are going to do three position push-ups. Oh wait, that's what we did last week, huh? Hmm. Oh, so how's he gonna spice it up? Oh, we're gonna do mountain climber push-ups. No three positions. I just seen if anybody's paying paying attention. So plank position. Okay, you have two choices: mountain climber push-up, in in out out push-up. Okay, or if you want to focus more on core, let's go mountain climber down dog. So you're gonna go in in. Out, out, down, dog, plank. Just like that. Your choice, coach's challenge. I'm gonna read the quote while I do it. Here we go. Get yourself set, plank position, lock in. This quote works perfect for what we're doing right now. And go, your toughness is made up of equal parts persistence and experience. You don't so much outrun your opponent as outlast and outsmart them. And the toughest opponent of all is the one inside your head. Joe Henderson, last push up down and up and break. Good job, guys, nice work. Thanks for pushing through, thanks for sticking it out. Like that quote said, your biggest enemy is the thing living inside that noggin upstairs. That goes for work. That goes for fitness, that goes for goals, 
which is what we've been talking about lately. Get out of your own way. Finish things out. Put it in. You guys have the grit. You have the gratitude. Again, thanks to my leader, Mark Verstegen, for that. But you guys have the grit and gratitude. You've put the time in. You've been here. Even if this is your first class, you came. You stayed. You did it as much as you can. That's awesome. That's what it's all about. We get better together every time we do this. So I appreciate you being here. Now, I'll let you go with your light joke of the day. Why doesn't the fisherman go to the gym? Well, he pulled a muscle. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thanks for pushing me through this. Thanks for warming me up on this cold day. I am sweaty. If I was wearing a lighter colored shirt, you could see that. I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. If you need anything, please let me know. You can always reach me on IM. Uh, what else? We got Teams. We got email. Reach out to me. I'd love to meet with you guys so we can add your stuff into this workout. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. See you next week.